So today we're going to take a look at something that uh, has not quite showed up yet. My buddy Tina is going to show up here in a few minutes. Uh, but it's going to be that Sharp by Design Mini Tempest. So you guys know what time it is. Turn down the volume because here comes a little bit of music. <laughs> So Tino told me he's going to drop by and bring this. Uh, so he said that he, he got this in and it came packaged. So we're going to do a quick unboxing when Tino gets here. Hey guys. Thanks. Guys, let's turn this around and do a quick unboxing of the Sharp by Design Mini Tempest. So I'm sitting here doing this edit and I thought I would throw this at the beginning. I didn't film any of this after Saturday. This was all before I wound up with my trip to the emergency room. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. This is a nice knife and I wanted to get it done. And I know a lot of people haven't got to see them yet. So we're just going to do this quick unboxing. So back to past Mike. As Tino just left and I have to admit, he always brings me the coolest stuff to look at. So he brought his Sharp by Design Mini Tempest. And I have to apologize. You're going to see some weirdness in the intro and everything because I believe that all the stuff I filmed at the green screen uh, was because I'm actually kind of refilming this. I believe I called it the mini typhoon. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. And as you guys are going to see, each one of these came shipped with something you guys are going to recognize. Look at that. Look at that. It is my business card. Uh, Brian and I talked about this. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a quick look. Now, this one is done with the blue fat carbon fiber so let's get all this packaging out of the way brian's knives are always packaged attractively so you have like you have his you know you have his design logo on it they're always done really well now this is the production model so let's go ahead and get all this packaging out of the way i hope this does i hope this video goes well because i do not feel well today so here you go you got brian's logo this is the first basically unboxing i looked at it real quick when when uh Tino brought it by. So this is Brian's new production model. This is the Mini Tempest. It does have a fuller and everything. I am just now getting a chance to look at this. Tino wants me to sharpen it. Um, he's not big on factory edges. He likes to have edges, my edges on pretty much everything. This is done, I believe, a hand satin, but don't quote me on that because I have not looked up specs or anything on this. Beautiful, attractive knife. I like the fat carbon fiber, it gives it a good look. I wish it had a little bit more blue in it though, to tell you the truth. It's not bad, it just gives it a little pop of color. Uh, action on it so far is pretty good. Uh, it's top flipper, but it's almost a bolster lock, or well, I mean, pretty much a bolster lock, so I'm not pinching on that lock bar. So uh, it's uh, it's not bad. Can I get the, I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, I can get the, uh, the fuller flick on it. It is a little tight though for me with big hands to get in on that little fuller, but it works. It works. Action on it is great. You got Brian's typical pivots. They look nice. That That's become something where you just see Brian's pivots and they have all those holes in them. Uh, I imagine that's a T8 on these. Pocket clip on it seems pretty good. It, I will say it's a little sharp right there. If this was mine, I'd probably put it on a scotch bright wheel and knock a little bit of that off. Um, I like the cutout on this for the lock bar. It's not something that's really gonna catch material, even though it's on the outside. And the bolster, or the, the uh, inlay carry, covers most of it. This is a front flipper, top flipper only though. And that, I'm not such a fan of that. Even though this one is pretty good, it is, this thing is comfortable in hand. Um, I'm still not a fan of the top flipper, front flipper thing. If if you're going to do it, I'd like to have it have thumb studs. I mean, the fuller on it is okay, but I would rather have something that had thumb studs where I can just thumb stud open it. Um, I know a lot of people are big fans of that top flipper, front flipper. You don't have a flipper tab that pops up, but I mean, guys, really, come on. It's, it's not... 
I mean, is that such a big thing? Because, you know, most finger, most knives are going to have something here that feels similar. The thing about Brian's knives is they do not have a detent ball. So any of you guys that have never seen this before, Brian's knives all have this little detent nub, I like to call it. And it's just a milled in piece that's on the uh, lock bar insert. And it's a really unique feature. It gives them it gives them a really good action. I do have to say there is very little, if any, detent play in that. I like it better on the flippers. You get a much crisper action on the the front on the actual flippers. I feel um, I can't really tell on this. I can't really feel it because I've had this fail to deploy a couple times. I think that a lot of that's just hand size, uh, blade shape on it. This is a nice blade shape lots of belly up at the front nice flat here yeah that's definitely got to be a hand satin you can see there's some inconsistencies that you get with a hand rub satin uh little artifacts and things like that you don't get on a, on a belt satin as often nicely nicely done jimping goes all the way up so you can get way up on it like that oh they're flying jets again of course why wouldn't they on a saturday when i'm trying to film they do training but it really does Get in the way of my filming schedule. Yeah, so like I said, carbon fiber on this is done. You cannot feel the uh, transition on this. This one you can because that's where the lock bar is. When it's open, it's even more pronounced. But when the knife is closed, you can just barely feel that one once that, th once that nub drops down in it, it's a detent spot. So, But all the other facets on And these are done by Riat. He has been doing his production knives with Riat. So these are great. I don't know any. This is just basically first impressions. It's done in a clamshell fashion, which I much prefer. Like a lot of people are like, oh, integrals and this and that. I love integrals. It's, you know, everybody should be doing integrals. I do not like integrals. I'm not a fan of an integral at all. Uh, I would much rather that you're going to do something like this where you have a clamshell design where I can still take the knife completely apart and it's not adding additional weight. You can get in these, you can, you can mill out the internals on these, uh, which I don't believe he's done. I can't really see because I'm not wearing my reading glasses. But at any rate, like I said, these are great. I haven't, I haven't looked at price or anything like that. This is all a unboxing first impressions. I'm sure I'm gonna carry this for a little bit. Uh, I do have to sharpen it for Tino. Um, so I'm going to carry it, do a little bit with it. Uh, I got to find out from him, you know, I don't want to scratch up the satin on this. This is, this is one of the things I'm not a fan of these fine hand rub satins. I would prefer if I'm going to have a satin, I don't have a knife here that has one right. Yeah, I do. Um, if I'm going to have another top flipper, if I'm going to have a satin, I would much rather have a grinder satin, like that linear, uh, burger grinder satin, because they... One, I'm cutting this way, and so it's not going to show scratches as badly. And two, it's not as fine. That's that just these scratch so easily. Just doing little things. Like if you just have a little bit of grit on your finger or on a rag and you happen to do this, you will scratch this. So that's my only complaint about this. So I'd be hesitant to hard use this with it being Tino's until I find out what, you know, what his take on it is. So I do like the fact it has jimping that goes all the way up. You can get way up on that if you got big hands. And I know I said something about the pocket clip being sharp, but I don't feel it. Uh, I would just be more worried about it tearing up pockets being that sharp or catching things and scratching things would be if you wear an expensive watch, you know what I'm saying? Or if you have expensive tastes, like say you're, you're right handed or left handed and you're carrying it uh, or you wear a bracelet or something like that, that would be a concern rubbing up against something you're going to scratch whatever you rub up against this already has some scratches on it see that's what i'm saying about like some of these hand rub satin parts it already has scratches on it and i don't think it's really even been carried so anyway guys not to make this any longer hope you're enjoying your saturday i'm not feeling the greatest i might just rest the rest of the day and then get this up like tuesday or something i have a video about the finch so all right guys i will turn this around and do some final thoughts so like you saw guys, really nice knife. I wish it had an option besides just the fuller and the, the front flipper, but hey, it's still an awesome, awesome knife. So thanks to Brian again. Brian has been putting my cards in all of these knives. I sent him, I think 500 cards. So yeah, guys, that's it on this one. Just a quick unboxing. We'll get it. I've got to sharpen it for Tino and I'll do some carry in with it and see 
uh, how I like it. Um, I've never disliked one of Brian, Brian's knives, so it shouldn't be an issue. So, guys, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. Uh, if you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment. That's the best way to help a channel. It, there's dogs in the background if you can hear them. Um, <laughs> it pushes us up the algorithm. Uh, if you want to support the channel financially, there's a ton of ways you can do it. I have membership tabs down below. We've got like three new members now. Uh, I will be updating that. Uh, it gets you in on early access to video, exclusive content, uh, a premium tier sharpening tutorial series. Premium tier sharpening tutorial series. Sorry, my dog got all excited. Um, and, you know, it saves you $5 per knife at checkout. Other ways you can do it, I have affiliate links down below. Anything you purchase, I get credit for it. It doesn't cost you anything at checkout. And the final way is I have a merchandise store at Ember Shirt Co. I set you up a coupon code. The coupon code is Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp. Saves you 10% at checkout. And if you send me a picture of you wearing my merch, I will, I will put it in the videos. Guys, I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. It makes it easier to moderate the channel. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video.